Hello. Just wanted to give you guys a, uh, a video of the uh, Passat that I have listed on eBay. I know sometimes pictures don't do uh, do justice, so just wanted to give you guys a video so you can kind of look things over. And uh, I was actually going to take it for a little bit of a, a test drive just to let y'all get a better feel for it. Overall, it's in pretty good shape. Um, it does have a few dents here and there, like uh, like here's one one dent right here and it does have a few scratches here and there I don't know if you can pick anything up off of the the glare but uh you know it's a 15 year old car so it does have a few dents here and there and it's you know 15 years old so you can't expect it to be perfect but overall it's in in pretty good shape uh, let me see if maybe you can see I don't think you can but there there's a dent there and then a small spot right there on the hood and there's a few small scratches but I don't think you can you might be able to pick that up um, let me go ahead and show you the interior uh, the interior is in pretty good shape uh, it's pretty clean overall for for its age uh, the the most wear things are is the, uh, the little ship brake and uh, brake knob and the shifter boot itself is kind of torn. It doesn't affect them from working right. It's just they're a little bit worn. Also, the I don't know if you can see it or not, but the the headliner has started to fall. I think it's because of all the heat that we've been having here recently. It just all of a sudden started this. Uh, for right now, I've got it bobby pinned in place, so it should should tide you over at least. Uh, the windows are tinted, and it was done professionally. Uh, no bubbling or, or anything else, you know, that shouldn't be. Um, here's the... I'm not sure if you can actually see that well since it's kind of dark a little bit. But here's the, the back interior as well. Uh, go ahead and start it up for you as well. Oops, drop the keys. Let me get down here. I'll pop the hood for you too. Oops. I'll rev it a few times. No noise, no rattles. Well, other than, than the rattle that a, a diesel should make. Go ahead and show you the hood, up under the hood. Bear with me for a second. There's the engine. Um, it's a little bit noisy, you know, just because I'm so close to it. But there's no uh, no rattling or noise that shouldn't shouldn't be there. Uh, AC, you can see it, it is really it works really well. I don't know if you can see all the condensation or not, but it's it's definitely definitely cold whenever you've got the AC on. So let's go ahead and take it for a drive. You can see it has, uh, let me turn on some lights in here. Well, right now, 111,591 miles. It will have a little bit more than that whenever you do, if, if you do win the auction, because I do drive this car from day to day. Uh, previously, the reason that I had this car and the reason that I'm selling it was that I was commuting back and forth about 100 miles a day each, each day. So I wanted something kind of fuel efficient and uh, something kind of compact to, to drive. But uh, you can see that it's it's very well mannered. It's not loud. It, it doesn't make all the rattling sounds that you know most diesels you would think would make. Uh, AC works wonderful. Heat works as well. Uh, another thing too, I forgot. I don't know if you can see, but. It actually has heated seats as well. Uh, 
those work as well. I kind of didn't realize it whenever I first got the car and, and wondered why the, uh, the seats were so warm. Come to find out that was why. Uh, everything, you know, runs and drives just fine on it. You can see we're going through the gears right now and no, no issues, no nothing. It's overall, it's a good little car. I would keep it around, but honestly, I, I've changed jobs now where I don't actually have to commute anywhere. I get to, to work from home, and uh, the only time that I actually have to travel is to go to the, the local airport to, to work for a week. So, no real need to have something that, you know, this compact, and honestly, I just kind of want to get a, a new Jeep, too. I've, I've been looking at those for a while. So, just wanted to give you a uh, kind of a tour around the car to, to let you know what all's going on with it. Uh, you can see there's no check engine lights or anything like that. Uh, just, you know, it's it's a good car. I would keep it, but I just honestly want to get something different. I, I'd like to have a Jeep. So that's the main reason that I've got it up for sale now. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to go ahead and ask in the auction, and uh, I'll do my best to answer in a timely fashion. Thanks, and happy bidding.